Now here's a slightly harder one. The integral from 1 to 4 of 2x minus 1 cubed dx is a little bit trickier. In fact, it's actually leading towards the next thing we're going to do, which is integration by substitution. Effectively, we're going to use the chain rule backwards. But because this is linear inside the brackets, it's actually still quite simple. The derivative of this thing inside is just 2, which is a constant. So again, all we're going to have to do, like a couple of the other examples, is if we were differentiating, we'd be multiplying by 2 for the derivative of the inside. Because we're integrating, we're going to be dividing by this 2. So let me show you. You can simply go, it's something cubed. So it's going to be 2x minus 1 to the 4th over 4, because that was the cube. And then I'm also going to be dividing by that 2. dx. Oh, sorry, not dx. What am I thinking? From 1 to 4. Got a bit confused there. OK, so we're going to substitute in it for, at 4 and then substitute in it at 1 and subtract them. So let's put 4 in. 2 times 4 minus 1 to the 4th over 8 minus... Um, I probably didn't need this bracket here for in this case. We'll do it without. Now we're putting 1 in. 2 times 1 minus 1 over 8, oh sorry, to the power of 4 over 8. Put in, put in x equals 4 and then put in x equals 1. Now, 8 to take 1 is 7 to the 4 minus 2 take 1 is 1 to the 4. Um, I actually don't think it's that bad written like that. That's 7 to the 4 minus 1 over 8. I want 49 squared. Well, 50 times 50 is 2,500. 40, let me do that, right? 50 times 50 is 2,500. So 49 times 50 is 1 less 50, 2,450. So 49 times 49 is 1 less 49 than this, which is therefore 2401. So that is 24, oops, 2401 minus 1 over 8, which is 2400 over 8, and 24 on 8 is 3, so that's 300. Now, if you look at this and you're not sure how to get to this, there is an alternative method. And that is to actually expand this cube before you start. Do you remember how to do that? The integral from 1 to 4 of 2x minus 1 cubed dx. Let me expand that uh, brackets. Um, First one cubed, 2x cubed, 3 times 2x squared times 1 plus 3 times 2x times 1 squared minus 1 cubed. Now that's longer and messier but I believe it should get us the same answer. Let's try it. Uh, first I'm going to expand those cubes. So I'm still going 1 to 4 of 8x cubed minus, this is 4x squared times 3, which is 12x squared, plus, this is 6x minus 1 dx. Now, Integrate this, 8x to the 4 on 4, 12x cubed on 3, 6x squared on 2x from 1 to 4. Oh, 
All right, it's going to be a mess. First, I might simplify some of that. 8 on 4 is 2x to the 4th. 12 on 3 is 4x cubed. 6 on 2 is 3x squared minus uh, x from 1 to 4. OK, at 4, 2 times 4 to the 4 minus 4 times 4 cubed plus 3 times 4 squared minus 4 minus, back here, x is 1. 2 minus 4 plus 3 minus 1. So this is 4, four sorry, 4 squared is 16. 16 squared is 256. That's two lots of that is 512. So 4 cubed was 16 times 4 is 64. Oh look, times 4, 256. 4 squared is 16, times 3 is 48, minus 4, minus, now what's in brackets, 2 take 4 is negative 2, plus 3 is positive 1, minus 1 is 0. Well, that was nice, wasn't it? 5, 12 take 256 is 256. 256 plus 48 well, 256 plus 50 is 306, so plus 48 would be 304, take 4 is 300. Wasn't that nice? I got the same answer, even though it was a bit messier. On the plus side, it meant I could avoid doing this sort of thing in my head.